Hi everyone, it's Doreen with Ooh La La Vintage Treasures and I just am working on my craft room. I thought I'd turn on the camera and just show you guys what I'm working on. So I'm putting together a fiber basket and so I thought I would take you along with me and show you some of my ideas that I came up with. Now these baskets right here are super cute you guys. Look at how cute the details are. They're crocheted baskets. Let's see. From here to here about nine inches by six inches so they're about nine by six and to the handle they are almost 11 inches okay so I purchased these at Hobby Lobby and I bought them online I needed something to put my fibers in and I thought this would be a fun way to use my Kirkland's ladder I have two of them and I've had them in my craft room and they just been getting bounced around and so I wanted to come up with an idea so I wanted to put the fibers in there so I just have this pretty satin rose that came off of a pink wedding dress these are really simple to make um, you just take you know the fabric and you do a running stitch and then you gather up the fabric but I kept that because I just really loved the rose and it's good size so I have that sitting on top and then I just have some of my fibers in here. These are Dollar Tree right here, but these are other fibers. These are different ones that I've had that are vintage. And this one here. Some of these came from France. I ordered them from a supplier. I have several other ones, but these are my favorites, so I kind of have my favorites out. And I did two white baskets, so I kind of alternated the colors as well. I just added a Christmas hook right here just a gold Christmas hook I think I got these either at Hobby Lobby or Michaels a couple years back and I just put it on the ladder like this and it hangs nicely between each little um, wooden rung I attached over here some really pretty laces that I liked and this is a nice tatting right here and so I just tied it in a knot and I wanted to use up some of my paper daisy journal tags that I had already cut out and so I just went ahead and added a little image here and this binder clip right here and then I just added one of my pearl appliques and a little rhinestone with some lace trim underneath and then it's plain on the back. This was a, a misprint when I was printing for kits and I didn't do the back on it so I had, I had already started cutting out the tags so I decided to use that for my craft room. And then over here is a charm. I bought this years ago at Joann's and never had a place for it. So I thought this would be so cute to use it with this little basket and it has this right here so it just dangles like that and it's just pretty to look at if I wanted to I could write how many yards of everything I have and I could write it on the back that would be a good way to keep track of my inventory but yeah that's what I have so far on that one And then I have another white basket. There's this one. And this one has this kind of fiber. This one. This one. These are the ones from France. That one. And this one. I tied up this right here. This is just some wedding trim off of a wedding dress that tag there and then I just put a crown there's that the next one are my darker colors this one is so pretty it has this variegated look to it some of these are mixed with some gold flecks that's got some sequins in it so that's that one I have several of the darker colors actually I, I don't have a lot of pink at all 
And then here's the tatting, and then I just made this tag right here. So I just put a little, you know, trim down here and a sparkle piece. I love these digitals from Paper Daisy Journals. They're just so cute. And then another one that's tan. So here's the other one, and then this has this. And these are the ones that have those thick fibers in them. And then here's one that has like this cute uh, crocheted type fiber. So there's that. And on this one, I just put some white lace, this cute tag with this little rhinestone and pearl sparkle piece, and then some more of that pink trim and that cute digital. And of course, this binder clip is pink. They're all pink. I just wanted to add a touch of pink because I have a lot of pink in my craft room. So I just added a touch of that pink. This one has some fur. This is my favorite. I'm going to be so sad when this one is gone. It is the prettiest I've ever seen. And it has this really iridescent um, look to it. And it doesn't take much to add to your projects. This one here, kind of a fun fur. And this is um, some mohair alpaca. I've had this for a long time. A little napkin down inside of there. This one's a little bit more messy because of the fur trim. But the main, the main piece is this one, love it. And then over here, I just have some really ripped up yummy trim. Let's see if you can see that. Isn't that pretty? And then here's the tag. I made the tags very simple, but I just wanted something hanging with some sparkle on it. So I just made them very simple because the tags are so pretty. Okay, and the next and last one is one of my favorites. And it's the pink one. Here has this really pretty, almost reminds you of cheesecloth, but it's very fine detailed trim. And then you can kind of move it around and manipulate the fibers, which is really cool. I love that. And this one's full of that. Okay, and then on the side I have this trim another one of my favorite finds it has all this beautiful crochet work and then this one has the rhinestone crown like I said it's very very simple I'm working on my craft room right now and I will have some more videos that I'll share with you how I am putting everything together and then let me also show you one of my one of my pokey tools that I worked on this is that Michael's little um, box, and I just made this one. Um, this one's gonna go to Violet. I'm working on a little box for her now, and I just wanted to show you guys how pretty this one came out. Violet loves these color whites and creams too. This is another one of her favorites. So I added over here a really pretty rhinestone button and then I added this one here, which is the angel wings with a pearl and a rhinestone spacer there, and a white bead there, and a heart. I found these in my stash. I thought I didn't have any more, but I found a few more. This crackle bead, this white bead, and this really pretty rhinestone bead and what I did is I mixed all the colors as you could see I've got silver I've got gold and I have bronze and I just love doing that it makes it look very vintage and old and then at the top I added this really pretty white rose I put a crochet piece here and a piece of a flower there and then here I have this really old vintage bead from a an old vintage um, necklace then I added the bead caps in between the pearls. These are all off of that necklace. And then this is a crystal 
This is a crackle bead here, and this is a marble bead here. Another one of these rondelles, and then this cream bead and this crystal bead. And I left this little cap on here. I did glue it though, but I left the cap on in case it loosens up. At least you have this little plastic thing to hold it together. And you know, as you're using it, it's going to bounce around a little bit, so it may get loose, I'm not sure. But I did use fabric tack to adhere it, and it feels pretty sturdy right now. So yeah, that is what I made for Violet, and um, I just love how this one came out. I'm going to be making some more with some pink flowers at the top. And I do like this because when you're poking things and you have your beads here, Sometimes it's a softer, you know, it has a softer grip right here. So when you're pushing things in, like when you're pushing stuff in, say I want to tuck this in to here, you know, you're touching this part instead of you're touching the beads. I don't know. I just like how that looks. And um, there's lots of videos out there on pokey tools and what to use pokey tools, but really it's just a pretty little piece to put in your craft room. And here I just have this box that I picked up from Michael's and I added a couple pieces of tatting and some little white flowers. Let me just move this out of the way. And um, it can sit in your craft room and when you need a pokey tool, it's just right there, ready to go in the little container. The only problem with keeping it in this container is you may forget to use it. That's another thing. But... At least it's there, and if you're looking for it, you need to find your pretty little, you know, display here. Then you have your pokey tool right there. Okay? And so anyway, that is what I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. And leave me a comment if you have an idea of how you're storing your fibers and your laces. I'm going to be working on my laces next, and I'm working on my fabrics. So I will have more videos to share with you very soon, alright? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.